we'll see Phillip Rivers and the Indianapolis Colts taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. These folks in the Circle City, they love their Colts, and they have packed the house tonight as we welcome you to Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Tonight, it's the AFC's turn to take center stage as we've got a wild card matchup on tap between the Baltimore Ravens and the Indianapolis Colts. Rivers now to throw on first down. He's got his target. That's Zach Pascal. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. First catch of this one on their own side of the field. Pascal's got it. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Throws this one right side to Pascal. And he'll get into the end zone. You just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Defense. Gotta credit him on that one because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him. Ran a screen. And they went to now that'll be tipped and intercepted. And his guys will take over. Operating from the gun. Rivers going for Hilton and it's intercepted. This one is going to just have to take over. Rivers now. And for the third time here, this half is intercepted. On first and ten, Rivers. That's into the hands of Pascal. Brings up second and from the 39, Rivers. On the right side, it's Hill with a catch. And finally, down he goes. As Second down and goal. Rivers. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Michael. On second down, Rivers again. And they'll get it up just short of the. To the air again here, Rivers. The toss here completed to Pittman. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Give him a gain of 38. Screen with Mac. A beautiful spin and room to run. And they'll get to first and ten. Rivers throwing complete to Doyle is tied in. Here's Rivers. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly We'll see Phillip Rivers and the Indianapolis Colts taking on Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Hoosier State and Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Cleveland Browns and the Indianapolis Colts. A first down throw here for Rivers. He's got his target. That's Zach Pascal. And he gets us to the other side. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Rivers. That's into the hands of Pascal. It's evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch. But you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard. And he'll get into the end zone. Touched him in. And he's got boys. And stopping him for a minimal gain. And they get him down. They'll run on first down. Mac. And he's going to take this across the penalties. He's able to knock that one away. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down as well. 
Operating from the gun. Rivers. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll go get it. From the gun. Rivers. And he gets it. To the air again here. Rivers. And he's got his man. It's Hilton for the Colts touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. He dumps this off to Mike. From the red zone now, Rivers. And he's caught inside the five. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. They'll try to throw here, Rivers. Over the middle here, it's Hilton. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. It's almost like those golfers. Certain courses fit their what they say and other courses are so deep. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And he's got his man. It's Hilton for the Colts touchdown. And the Colts will play again next weekend. Thanks for watching, everybody, and so long. From Indianapolis. Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl. Marlon Mack, his first carry of the game. And they get him down, but not the They'll run on first down. Mack. And they'll get this one down to a hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Blanket hits. They'll need to come up with something here on third down. And he's got his man, Hilton. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a... Operating from the gun, Rivers. On the right. They'll run it with Mack. And he takes it in for a cold score. Marlon Mack taking it in. Again, it's Rivers. And they're well past midfield. Now it's a bootleg with Rivers. He completes this one to Mack. The 20. Yeah. Throwing again. Rivers. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. On second and 11 now. Rivers hits his target to tight end Morelli Cox. That is on third down, Rivers. Going right side here, and that's complete. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And he... From the gun, Rivers. Going for Hilton, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty, and he's able to get it. And I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. And he'll find it. Get set to take over. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And he first and ten. They'll throw again. Rivers. A good throw here, finding Pascal. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Zach. Really a great season. Not a whole lot to hang their head about. Not at all. And, you know, the, the winning side, they're so ecstatic. They're going to the Super Bowl. But for the guys that we're talking about, They've got to figure out how it's going to go next year. Are they going to be motivated by this loss? Or will this loss linger and really make them, you know, make it tough for them to come out of the gate strong next year? Only time will tell, but they've got to find a way to use this loss and use it as motivation.
Shout out to me, yo.